Welcome to Schneider Electric EZ9 RCBO tutorial. I am Jia Ying, and together with me, Masli Ashar Abdul Latif, Senior Product Marketing Engineer for Final Distribution. Before we start, Masli, could you please explain to the audience what is RCBO? RCBO is a device that protects against electrocutions. It consists of two components into one, which is MCB and RCCB. Its function is to detect leakage that occur within the inside the electrical system, internally and externally. Where does RCBO need to be installed? Okay, RCBO 10 mm protection needs to be installed as an additional protection for the water heater, normally which you can find it in the bathroom or we call it wet area. Why do we need RCBO? Okay, recent cases of electrocution that occur in Malaysia prove that ELCB integrated inside the water heater do not provide full protections. If there is a leakage that occur from externally, it will not protect the person who are using the water heater. And plus, 10 mm RCBO protection is a requirement under Electricity Act 1994, which means in the installation of an old or new of water heater, you need to add 10 mm RCBO as a protection. Well, there's a very good information for you and me. Thank you, Masli. You're welcome. Next, please stay tuned for our next tutorial on how to install RCBO. From this video, you will learn about pre-installation checklist, recognize the MCB that supply or connect to the water heater, step-by-step -step to replace the MCB with RCBO, correct wiring of the RCBO, test the RCBO functionality after installation. Before we start with the installation, please make sure that the RCBO that you bought is a 10 mm protection, 25 amp current rating, come with a serum label, and also an A-type protection. Please also ensure that you have a two type of termination on the incoming and the outgoing. Next, you will need two cables for the installation. Red is for face installation. Black is for neutral. Also, a proper type of screwdriver to tighten and loosen the RCBO. And finally, the test pad which you use to ensure the power availability has been cut off after you turn off the main supply. Now, we have gone through all the checklists that needed to do the installation of our RCBO. So let's see how we do the installation inside the distribution box. First, open up the distribution box that cover your MCB and RCCB inside your house. Second, identify which MCB are supplying to the water heater. There is three type of uh, detection type you can do. First, it was directly categorized or labeled at the cover of the distribution box, or it was labeled directly at the MCB, or the third way is you turn on one by one the supply, which are supplying to the water heater. Next, after we identify which MCB are supplying to the water heater, we turn off the MCB, we turn off the main supply of the breaker. Next, for safety purpose, please use a test pan to check the power availability at the outgoing and at the incoming of the breaker. Next, using a screwdriver, loose the cable of the MCB that connect to the water heater. Then, take out the MCB from the distribution box. It is required to rearrange the position of the MCB and install the RCBO to the far right side of the DIN rail. Use two types of colored cable to connect to the incoming of the RCBO. Red is for power and black is for neutral. After we insert the cable into the RCBO terminal, Tighten the cable to ensure it fits perfectly to the terminal. Use the same cable that connect to the water heater and connect it to the outgoing of the RCBO. Red is for live and black is for neutral. And then tighten both termination to ensure the cable fits perfectly to the RCBO. 
connect the adding of a water heater to the adding bar of the distribution box and then tighten the screw to ensure it fits perfectly to the bar. Some wiring installation are sharing neutral cable, so it is advisable to pull a new cable directly to the water heater. Once the cable is securely tightened, turn on the main power of the MCB, the RCBO, and finally the water heater. Press the test button of the RCBO. If it trips, the installation is OK. If it's not tripping, recheck the cable termination if it's connected properly. Now, your water heater is protected with a 10 mm RCBO. Thank you much for the tutorial. You're welcome. Before we end this tutorial, please take note on the following key points. Ensure you install 10 mA RCBO for water heater. Ensure you buy RCBO that is approved and certified by Surahan Jaya Tanaga and Sirin. Ensure that the cable connected to RCBO is correct termination and properly tightened. Always test your RCBO functionality by pressing the test button, minimum 4 times in a year. RCBO should be installed by qualified electricians. Do not try to install it by yourself. Thank you very much of your time and we hope this video will help you understand on the installation of the RCBO. And remember, life is on, safety, safety starts, starts with, with you. you.